Michelle, you're just about done with all of the preparations for this flight. Uh, how do you feel about your readiness to finally get off of the planet? Well, I think uh, my crew and I are very excited about uh, this upcoming mission and this upcoming launch. Um, we've been training for a little under two and a half years for this. And of course, we had the launch delay from May. Um, we've had some time to do some refresher training to get a couple more sims under our belt, um, but we're ready to go. Well, yes, as you say, you and Oleg and Kimya have had to wait out a launch delay because of a problem with a, a prior launch. Uh, you guys feel like you're uh, like you're well prepared now and eager to get going. Absolutely. You know, um, we were very disappointed to see the the mishap with the, the Progress vehicle, um, and very excited to see the success of the the recent. Uh, 60p progress um, launch and docking. Um, we're very confident in the uh, in the Soyuz uh, vehicle that we're going to be flying in. We do have a couple of uh, flight readiness reviews still to go next week, but uh, we're excited about uh, the prospect of a launch on the the 23rd of July. Well, describe the day. Tell me what lies ahead for a, a Soyuz crew on the launch day itself. What what's in front of you guys from wake up to uh, launch? Sure. Well, I think uh, it's kind of a surreal day, and I, I had the opportunity to see it as a backup member of the crew uh, back in November when Terry Verts and Samantha Cristoforetti and Anton Schlapperow launched. So we get up at a kind of a normal time. We have breakfast. We do, I think, uh, just some, not a whole lot of uh, heavy work, just kind of mosey around a little bit and then take a nap in the early afternoon to try and sync us up with the launch schedule. We uh, do some final preparations, some medical preparations, and then uh, have a light uh, snack and then head out to the Building 254 where we'll suit up um, into our uh, Sokol um, spacesuits. And out there we'll have the opportunity to uh, see family from uh, across through the glass and, and uh, have a, a last few moments before the launch. We'll do a pressure check on our Sokol suits and uh, then we'll head out to the launch pad. Well, so as you look ahead now to this uh, four or five months that you're going to spend in space, uh, is there something in particular that you're most looking forward to, uh, as an experiment or, or a spacewalk or something else? Sure. You know, I, I think that uh, there are two things that I'm particularly looking forward to with this first flight. Um, the first one is just the opportunity to look back at the Earth. I have several friends that have been that have flown and have sent pictures back, but every every time they say it just doesn't do reality justice. And so to to get to see the Earth um, constantly changing, all the beautiful colors, to look back at the Earth with my own eyes, uh, that's very exciting for me. And the second thing that just I feel so privileged to have this opportunity to do a long duration space flight, to really learn how to live and work uh, in space for a long period of time, to really adapt to that environment. Only a few years ago, uh, someone in your position wouldn't have had the uh, options available to share the mission that they're flying in space with those of us who are on the ground. Uh, do you have plans to take advantage of uh, social media and things like that to uh, let us see what you're doing? Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm probably not the most active person on, uh, on Twitter. I've been keeping friends and family updated on Facebook, and I have an Instagram account. Um, but I, I absolutely plan to, to share the experience with, uh, um, with those who are interested in using social media. I think you're absolutely right that, uh, that we're really in a new era where we can almost real time uh, share the things, uh, things that we're seeing, things that we're doing, um, share interesting things with, uh, with folks back here on Earth. And you'll be getting to do something that I, I think you've been waiting most of your life to get to do. Absolutely. This has been a lifelong dream for me. Um, it's been kind of a windy path, but I feel so, uh, it's such an honor to get to do this job and really uh, what a privilege to be he sitting here, you know, with uh, 14 days to go before launch. You know, it's going to be six months or more before you get back to Houston at the end of the mission, how long you've been, will have been gone from home. Tell me what it is you think that we're learning as from flying these missions that makes it worth that sacrifice for you? Sure. Well, the space station is an incredible piece of engineering, and uh, it's a, a tremendous resource, a national laboratory orbiting above the Earth. Um, it gives us the opportunity to do research that will benefit our abilities to go deeper into space for longer periods of time, to explore uh, the ultimate goal, to explore Mars. Um, but it also benefits uh, folks back here on the Earth. We're doing life science research, materials research, combustion research um, that is uh, providing um, real benefit to, to people back here. 
Well, Chell, thanks for the uh, for the few minutes. Uh, have a safe trip and have a good time on orbit. Thank you so much, Pat. Appreciate your time.